welcome to the London Transport Museum. My name is Daisy and I've got a special story all about a little boy called Yemi who finds out just how much fun you can have on a rainy day. Now I'd love it if you joined in the story with me so I'm going to teach you a couple of actions. So first of all whenever Yemi is sad we do a big sad sigh like this. <gasps> Let's practice. Oh, great. Yemi also has a dog called Appa. So when we meet Appa, we can do a big woof woof like this. Ready? Woof woof. Great. Then we're going to splash in some puddles like this. Splash, 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 splash. Then Yemi is going to have a big hot chocolate with whipped cream. So we're going to pretend to drink it like this. Good job. Then the rain's going to get heavier and heavier. So when I say heavier and heavier, we can do rain sounds on our laps like this. Ready? Heavier and heavier. Great. Then we're going to go on the underground. So we can do the sound of the doors opening like this. Beep, 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 beep. Mind the gap. Let's practice. Ready? Beep, 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 beep. Mind the gap. Great. Then finally, we're going to do a big happy sigh like this. Ah, <sighs> very good. Oh, and one more thing. There's going to be a robin in the story. So when you spot the robin, See if you can do the sign along with me, like this. Robin. Let's practice. Robin. Okay, I think we're ready for the story now. Here it is. Yemi's rainy day. Yemi looked sadly at the rain outside. It was another gloomy day. Oh. <gasps> Cheer up, Yemi, said Mum. I know Dad and I have been busy, but I've got a day off today. Why don't we play a ball game? You love ball games. I want to go outside, said Yemi, but it's too rainy for anything fun. <sighs> oh, nonsense, said Mum. In fact, some of the most fun you can have is on rainy days. You just need the right clothes. She opened the cupboard and pulled out a bright yellow raincoat and matching Wellington boots. Yemi put them on. He liked how the rubber squeaked on the kitchen floor. Come on, Yemi, let's walk to Hampstead Heath. Mum, can we take Appa out too? Woof, woof! Yemi, Mum and Appa walked to the heath in the wind and rain. They walked past the Lido. Oh no, look, the grass is flooded, said Yemi. But look at all the puddles, said Mum. Yemi, Mum and Appa had great fun jumping in all the puddles. Splash, 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 splash. They saw a robin sitting on the fence. Oh. That robin looks pretty enough to be a Christmas card, said Mum. But Yemi thought the robin looked worried as it flew off and round and round the heath. I think it's looking for something, Mum, said Yemi. <laughs> Probably it's dinner, some juicy worms, said Mum. When it started to get colder, they went to a man selling drinks by the kiosk. Two hot chocolates with extra whipped cream, said Mum. Yemi sipped his hot chocolate. Mmm, it was delicious. He even let Appa lick off some of the whipped cream from his finger as a special treat. <laughs> they carried on walking, but the rain got heavier and heavier. Oh, I guess it's time to go home, said Yemi, starting to feel miserable again. Yes, let's go home, said Mum. To drop Appa off, then how about we go on a special adventure? But isn't it too rainy, said Yemi. 
It is, but the underground is nice and dry. After leaving Appa with a full bowl of food, Yemi and Mum walked down the steps to the underground. We're taking the northern line, Yemi, said Mum, so follow the black signs. After following all the black signs, they reached the platform and just in time as a train was rolling in. Mm. Northern line via Charing Cross, that's the one, said Mum. I usually take the one via bank when I'm working at the hospital. The doors of the train slid open. Beep, 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 beep. Mind the gap. We're getting off at Leicester Square, Yemi. How many stops? Said Mum. Yemi squinted at the map. Mm, eight. Yemi and Mum counted each stop as they went past. One, two, three. Camden Town. This is where the line splits in two, said Mum. Four. Five, six, seven, Tottenham Court Road, one more stop. Eight. The doors of the train slid open. Beep, 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 beep. Mind the gap. When Yemi and Mum got above ground, the rain had stopped, leaving the pavements all shiny and sparkly. They walked around Leicester Square for a while, admiring the twinkling lights of the theatres and cinemas. Mum shrieked as a pigeon flew a bit close to her. Ah! <laughs> Yemi laughed. <laughs> it's only a pigeon, Mum. <laughs> Soon it was time to go home. They got on the number 24 bus. <coughs> <coughs> Hello, said the driver. <gasps> Dad, said Yemi. See you at home. This is my last trip of the night. Keep my dinner warm for me. <laughs> Yemi and Mum made their way to a seat by the window. Yemi leaned his head on his mum's shoulder. I love rainy days, Mum, he said. And that's the end of the story. Give yourselves a big clap. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining in. Did you spot the Robin in the story? Keep an eye out for him as he'll be appearing in some of our other stories. Thanks for coming and have a wonderful day. Goodbye!